What is up YouTube? Hostile Carrot here with the best corner scrub guide you will find on the internet. This technique is a well guarded secret. A lot of the other top pros on the Monster Energy Supercross games not going to teach you how to do this. The cat is now out of the bag. I expect to receive some flack for this video. Today I'm going to teach you how to turn fast. Like really, really fast. What I'm talking about is called the corner scrub or the corner glitch. At least that's what people call it. I don't really like referring to it as a corner glitch. I think of it more as counter steering. I mean, they even kind of teach you to do it in the game's tutorial by suggesting you can use the right stick to turn quicker. This game never advertised itself as a simulator. I think it's an arcade game. People complain it's unrealistic. It's an arcade game. Who cares? If you're here to go fast, then I'm going to teach you how to do that right now. Uh there is a lot of controversy around this technique. Personally, I have been removed from a competitive league because others did not appreciate how fast I turn. I'll go ahead and shout out my Little Rabbit's Quick Corner Honda Bros. That's Little Whippy 23, B15MX, Moto Daddy 42, and TBE Lock. Those are my boys, and together we are putting down some heaters and occasionally being removed from leagues uh, because we hit them corners quick, know what I'm saying? Um, so... On the flip side, if you hope to achieve any level of success in the more legitimate leagues such as IOMA, ESXR, or Milestones On Series, you're going to want to get this technique down um, in order to stay competitive. So I'm going to teach you the technique, but it's up to you to learn how to incorporate it into your racing. By that, I mean the controller input we're going to discuss is very simple, but executing a corner glitch without crashing and then being able to do that turn after turn for an entire 20 minute race is very, very difficult. When applied correctly, this technique will easily shave seconds off your lap time. However, it's just plain difficult to do successfully multiple times in a row. Scrub too hard and you're laying on the ground. Don't scrub enough, you go off the berm at Mach 10. Apply the gas too soon, you're sliding out or spinning a 540. In general, it's pretty tough to exit the berm in a straight line when you've executed a perfect corner scrub because you will be going faster than you ever have before. So, what is the corner glitch? So, the premise is really simple. Basically, all you do is push the right stick in the opposite direction of the way you are turning. So, you use your left stick, say you're turning left, you use your left stick to turn left, you push it to the left, your guy turns his handlebars to the left, he goes left around the corner. Now, if you add to that with the right stick, you push the right stick to the right, what that's going to force the bike to do is go out under you to the right side, kind of as if you were doing a tabletop on a BMX bike. Really, you're just trying to lay the bike out flat in the corner so you get more traction. Those steep corners, you're going to be literally like sideways, almost as if you're trying to tap your left handlebar grip on the ground. So, left hand turn, you push the left stick to the left, right stick to the right, and you will turn faster than you've ever before. Um, so with that in mind, I'm going to give you guys a couple of tips for actually incorporating this. First of all, tip number one, momentum. The entire point of the corner scrub is that it allows you to turn tighter, meaning you can enter a turn faster and exit a turn faster than you ever have before. If you've mastered the corner scrub, you should quite literally feel like you are on rails in a corner, meaning you have 100% traction. As soon as you're done steering, you're back on full throttle, second gear pin, third gear pin, just roasting out of there. So momentum, very, very important. It's not about how quick you turn, it's about how fast you're entering the turn and how fast you're leaving the turn. It's really gonna shave some seconds off your lap time. Tip number two, probably the most important tip, go easy on the right stick. It is extremely rare that I will push the right stick all the way to the right or left when I'm doing the corner scrub. Most successful corner scrubs are completed by pushing the right stick less than halfway to either side, typically closer to like 20, 10 or 20%. Why? Well, if you push the right stick all the way in either direction, your rider will dump the bike completely sideways. That might be useful for a very steep corner, but I can promise you it's not going to work in the flat corners. Um, so, yeah, right stick, 
even though you're pushing it in either direction, you're not slamming it over that way. You're, you're kind of tapping it gently, you know, working it kind of out to the right and swinging it back. Tip number three, in line with tip number two, the corner dictates the scrub. How hard you press the right stick in the opposite direction is decided by how steep the turn is and how long it is. Steep turns allow for a harder scrub and a faster turn, meaning you're going to push the right stick further in either direction. You can use less brakes coming in, hit the turn faster, scrub, and leave with better speed. This makes a lot of sense because when you implement the technique, you are dumping the bike sideways. The steeper the turn is, the more sideways you can get. On a flat turn, you can still use the technique for sure but you may only want to push the right stick 10% of the way either direction. Um, also, custom tracks are going to be a great place to practice this because those turns are very steep and just work absolutely perfect with this turning technique. Tip number four, learn when to scrub. While this can be done in flat corners, it's definitely more difficult. Um, you're going to find that you're going to slide out. Like I said, you can scrub 10% with the right stick. It might work perfect. You do 30% with the right stick. You're already on the ground on a flat corner. Additionally, some turns are steep enough or long enough that the corner scrub is not necessary to hit the turn at max speed. You don't need this corner scrub every turn. There are tracks that I will corner scrub every turn. There are tracks that I may only do it once or twice per lap. Um, so practice and you are going to figure out where your shaving time, incorporate it there, and keep it moving. Tip number five, timing. Also very, very important. When do you actually do the corner scrub? When are you incorporating that right stick? The corner scrub is started as you are entering the turn. You should not be waiting until you are in the apex of your corner to press the right stick in the opposite direction. If you're slamming on brakes upon entry to a corner, that is probably the moment you begin to gradually press the right stick in either direction. So to be clear, you start scrubbing as you're entering the corner, okay? And you're letting off the right stick in the apex of the corner. At that point, you should already be on rails and you're getting back on the gas. Um, a massive massive pro tip there's a lot of tracks on this game where you are landing a jump as you enter the corner you can begin the corner scrub before you've even landed so what i'm saying is you push the right stick to the right a little bit the guy will throw his bike out under him to the right and you just land on rails in the corner already at that perfect 15 30 degree angle so that you don't let off the gas at all you don't hit the brakes you just land in the corner scrub and roast. Tip number six, use brakes. When you're learning this technique, you are going to find a lot more success early on if you apply the brakes while you're pressing the right stick in either direction. As you get better at the technique, you'll want to use the brakes less and less. Like tip one, it's all about momentum. The concept here is you're trying to get off the brakes as much as possible. Um, so use your brakes as you're learning so you can keep it under control and then learn how to not do it. Tip number seven, end early. While the scrub technique starts moments before you are actually turning, you want to be letting go of the right stick somewhere around halfway to three quarters away around the turn. Um, the point of the corner scrub is it's going to put you on rails around the corner. You want to end the scrub as early as possible so you're back second gear, third gear, pinned, exiting the corner. Um, so you're letting go of the right stick around halfway, three quarters of the way around, get back on the gas, and roast on out of there. Tip number eight, um, hopefully, those are all the tips about actually doing the corner scrub. Tip number eight, open up new lines. You just learned how to exit a corner with a lot more momentum. That quad you've been eyeing up, wondering if it's possible or not, it definitely is. The corner scrub is going to get you over it. Last but tip number nine, get out there and practice, man. I fully anticipate, even though you've watched the video, you're not just going to hop in and do a corner scrub perfect first try, second try, third try. There's a lot of mechanics to learn, but you understand them. You know the timing. You know, you're starting the scrub right before you get into the corner as you're applying the brakes you're letting go early you're gassing it out 
So that's about all I got for you guys. Go out there, master the corner scrub. I look forward to playing with you guys online in the future. Please like, subscribe, and do a comment below um, if you want me to teach y'all something else. Let me know what I can help with. Peace.